Hi, um, so I'm Beth Elwell. Um, I'm Beth Lee on IRC and I'm working primarily on Horizon upstream. Um, so day to day I look at bugs um, that Red Hat customers um, are finding within Horizon um, and then I compare that to the upstream bugs um, so that we can make sure that the community is up to date on the existing bugs in the system because um, if they're bugs for Red Hat customers they're bugs that we really need to address everywhere. Um, so I then go and fix the bugs and um, work out how to fix the bugs and sometimes that means writing a new feature. So quite a lot of the bugs that we find customers have are actually they're bugs but they're also not bugs. They're kind of just things that are missing from the system, right? Um, so for example at the moment there's um, a Newton QoS panel uh, which just doesn't exist. Um, and it's a feature that our customers need and therefore it's a bug to them because if something isn't there that you need, there's a problem. So I'm writing a new panel for that with actions and everything else. So you get bugs like that which are quite a massive feature to write and have to have a blueprint upstream and all of that. Um, and then sometimes it's just a bug like some, some button doesn't click right to through to the right link um, and that's kind of a five minute I'll just change the link. Easy, done, fantastic. We've sorted that issue. So that's yeah. now. Is this stuff that is complete in Okata, or is this things that will be coming later in Pike? So, um, the QRS panel. yeah. So the QRS panel is something that's literally oh, under so development so at the second. I <laughs> like submitted the patch for it five minutes ago. So <laughs> um, very, very current. Um, so we're hoping that that will be merged through and available for our customers within. Um, this cycle, and um, so that's that would be really exciting to have that. Yeah, um, the smaller bugs they're just things which will constantly be updated. The smaller bugs, as I say, some of them can take literally five minutes, and so those ones will, you know, be fixed periodically. And it'll be really awesome to see things getting cleaned up and making the system better for everyone. Now you've been having the uh, project team gathering meetings yeah. these last few days. What, what's your take on this? Has this been valuable? Has this been a good time? It's been super valuable. So um, what's one of the most incredible things about OpenStack is that it's so many people from so many backgrounds and actually so many companies all gathering together to like collaborate and make something more awesome because we're all working together. And that's the beauty of open source, right? And um, free software. It's it's a really awesome thing to be a part of and so to be able to come together you can talk about things much faster you can show people your screen and be like this is the issue I'm having and things that you just wouldn't have the opportunity to do if it was just over IRC and tech, like instant messaging like is a very it's very different so for example um, I was really struggling with unit testing my background in web development and kind of um, web agency stuff um, didn't prepare me for writing many unit tests and so that's been a real that's a real weakness for me um, in my career and so this week I spent a lot of time with Cindy um, who's a core on Horizon and she just showed me so much and I mean she works for IBM like a different company and just she was like giving a lot of her time to here you go this is what you do like a, like you know these are things which can make your life so much easier and then likewise I can give back to her as well and I think when people say it's kind of a cliche but like the open stack is not code it's people it, it is a cliche because a lot of people say it but it's really true it's just like a community of people who all love code and all want to create something really really awesome for our customers and the PG is such an awesome representation of that so yeah so Horizon like a handful of projects like Keystone and Nova and Neutron touches absolutely everything. Right, yeah. Have you been attending just Horizon meetings or have you been sitting in on other things? So the first two days of the PG have been um, horizontal projects meeting, which means that exactly like exactly what you just said, the um, projects which interact with a lot of other ones. So Horizon. Um, Horizon's been meeting for those two days, so that's just been intense Horizon, like, and we've had other people from other projects sitting in and asking questions, so um, we've had people from Triple O and Ironic coming in to sit in and ask, um, you know, like, how, how is Horizon changing and how does that affect my project, basically. 
um, the second three days there are horizon meetings and there's cross project meetings so for example Wednesday afternoon we have um, Keystone Horizon crossover um, but for example this like this morning I've literally just been in the ironic sessions um, and my history was I developed the ironic user interface the ironic UI plugin for horizon so that's really exciting for me to kind of see where that's going and how that's developing with horizon so yeah, um, Horizon is my focus, but I also am in various projects yeah. as well. So yeah, because it touches them as well. What uh, what new things can we expect in the in the next cycle? I know Akata was really short. Sure. But, uh, more time for the next cycle, but what sort of things do we have on on the horizon? <laughs> yeah, on the horizon for Horizon. Um, so a lot of work on Angular. Like I think. Um, at the moment, we're still in a transition phase where there's a lot of um, Django and a lot of Angular and the combination of the two can sometimes um, hinder the user experience. Um, but definitely, like, massive progress is being made there. So that's really exciting to see. Um, we've actually, the new PTL, the new project team lead for Horizon, has um, decided that actually we're going to really focus in on um, two panels in particular, on two um, instance panels, and completely converting them to Angular and getting that looking really, really swish, like look, looking incredibly nice, because the problem is when you try and focus on every single panel all at the same time, then you get kind of all of them 20% done, or th like or 50% done, and you kind of have this end result that a release comes out that isn't that... Um, well, I don't know what the right word it, it's not it, it doesn't look polished right so um, I think it's a really awesome decision it means that when we have the next release coming out we might be able to do more than two hopefully we will but we've got that focus on a couple of them to be like you know what we're going to punch these out and they're going to be really really beautiful and our, you know our clients are going to be so happy with what they see as a result of that as opposed to maybe you should have stayed with Django because this is like kind of messy so yeah I think that'll be that's one of the like main focuses for the next cycle